third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth graders, here is your virtual lesson for the week. Um, this week we kind of went on to our lesson number two with our tennis unit. And last week, um, in the last video, we talked about the parts of the court, the way the court is put together, the reasons why uh, different lines are on the court, and I think I had a video on there for you to watch about that. Um, I'm also going to attach your pretest to this week. So take your pretest for this, all right, and see if, you know, just take your pretest and then uh, send it back to me, okay? What we'll do is we'll take the post test when we're done with this and uh, we'll see how much you learn, all right? So don't try and research the answers to your pretest. Just based on this, you're gonna have a little bit of a, a little bit of a advantage for the pretest, even though the pretest doesn't you know, hurt or really affect your grade. It's just for me to see what you learned, um, where you were when we started and where you were at the end. But take the pretest, send it in. Um, I, now that I'm up and running here, I can uh, start attaching those things too. So I'll put that on there for you this week. But we learned about scoring, we learned about gameplay, we learned about the court, and we also learned the uh, forehand stroke. Okay, that's the most common stroke we're gonna use in tennis. Um, that's the most powerful, the most accurate stroke that we're gonna have. We learned about ready position, and today we're gonna just move on from that and learn the backhand stroke. So this will be like the second most useful stroke that we have once the game starts. Next week we'll talk about serving and how to start the game, all right? So thinking back, your ready position is always shoulder over knees over toes, right? I'm using my racquetball racket because it's smaller, it's easier to move around down here. But when we do tennis, we're shoulder over knees over toes, okay? And we get our butt down and we move our weight forward, okay? That's gonna bring my weight up to the front of my feet and that way I can move to the side, move quickly forward, back, jump up, side to side if I need to, all right? So what I have is my tennis racket out in front of my body. I put my hand out, grab the racket like that, and now I'm in my ready position, all right? Last time we said your dominant side is where we're gonna make that forehand stroke. So I'm gonna one, turn, so my opposite shoulder faces the ball coming to me, and my target, which is gonna be over onto the other side of the net. Two, I'm gonna open up, and when I open up, I'm gonna bring the racket back and my weight back, Three, I'm gonna do contact, and when I do contact, I'm gonna bring my racket forward, weight forward, and try and make contact with a square racket right around waist level. And four would be follow through, just like we always do. And when we follow through, we're telling the ball where to go, and we come right back to ready, okay? So again, we look like this. Ready position, turn, open, close for contact, follow through, back to ready, okay? Eye is always on the ball. Back, contact, follow through. All right? That's going to be my forehand stroke. Front of the hands facing the ball, front of the racket, forehand stroke. They all start with F. Now, backhand stroke. We're going to do exactly the same thing, but we're going to do it on the other side of our body. So a good tennis player on the other side might have hit a nice hard ball back at me, and I don't have time to move all the way over and play that forehand stroke like I want to. I'm gonna have to play the ball to my non-dominant side. I hit the ball, my opponent hit it right back and it's coming this way. So rather than move over there, like I said, I'm gonna use my backhand stroke. So I've got my shoulder over knees over toes because I hit that forehand, I'm right back to ready. This time, like I said, I'm just gonna turn. Now the same side shoulder faces my target. I'm gonna close up my body first but it's still racket back, weight back. I'm going to come forward, making contact, flat racket, weight forward, racket forward, just like before, but it's on the other side of my body. Now the back of my hand and the back of my racket faces the ball when it makes contact. There I've got my backhand stroke. And then I follow through to ready, okay? Forehand, turn, open, close, follow through. Backhand, turn, close, open, follow through, okay? Then we open to contact at the waist again. So we've got forehand, and then we've got backhand. 
okay? Practice those. Um, get a ball if you can, find a tennis ball, find something that you can use. Um, you know, in the, uh, in the old video archives from when we were in quarantine and finishing up last year, I showed you how to make a racket at your house. We just basically took uh, a couple paint stirs and we taped some um, paper plates to the end of it and made a racket that way. If that's the best you can do, that's fine. Then you can at least get that, get used to that motion of swinging a racket. All right, and if you get a chance to go up to the high school and play on the tennis courts there, um, be a great way to practice also. So that was the uh, that was the information from this week. We did that, practiced that, and uh, if you can do it, you're all caught up. Okay, take some time. Uh, review the information, practice the information on the uh, module, take the pretest this week, and um, just stay in touch. All right? Do your assignments, turn them in. And if you have any questions, you can email me or write to me um, through the Canvas app and website. Okay? Thanks for doing this, and I will talk to you again next week.